David Spiegelhalter, The Art of Statistics, How to Learn from Data. Welcome to the summary of The Art of Statistics, How to Learn from Data by David Spiegelhalter. This book takes you on a fascinating journey through the realm of statistics and its powerful applications in our everyday lives. Statistics is often misunderstood and seen as merely a branch of mathematics, but its real-world implications stretch far beyond that. By following the PPDAC cycle, problem, plan, data, analysis, and conclusion, statisticians solve problems, analyze data, and draw crucial conclusions that impact a wide array of fields. This summary brings you insights into the workings of statistics, human judgments and biases, data visualization, research practices, media misrepresentation, and common interpretation fallacies. Get ready to delve into a world where cold, hard facts meet human intuition and judgment. Solving Real-World Problems with Statistics this passage explains the five stages of the data lifecycle that statisticians deal with, which can be summarized by the acronym PPDAC. It shows how statisticians apply this process to solve real-world problems, using the case of Harold Shipman, the UK's most prolific serial killer, as an example. The author demonstrates how this process enabled them to identify a problem, design a plan to solve it, gather data, analyze it, and draw conclusions. The author's investigation concludes that, with proper monitoring, Shipman's activities could have been exposed much earlier, saving countless lives. The human factor in data. Data is not an infallible representation of reality. Every step of data collection, from defining what is being measured to designing appropriate questions can involve human judgments, biases and misleading factors. For instance, surveys that ask people about their feelings may not capture the full human experience and biases in interpretation or answering can skew the data. Moreover, changing the definition of what is being measured midway through the process can also lead to skewed data. Therefore, statisticians face a challenge when dealing with data since they need to account for human factors before even collecting data. The language used can influence how respondents feel about questions, and the response options provided can also impact survey results. As a result, data is subject to human judgments and biases like any other form of knowledge. The power and complexity of data visualization. The importance and challenges of visualizing data and how it affects interpretation. In recent years, data visualization has gained attention as a powerful tool for communicating statistical results. Graphical representations of data make patterns more discernible, without requiring mental calculations. However, creating an accurate and effective visualization requires meticulous design, from color and font choices to language and order of presentation. Researchers even work with psychologists to assess how alternative graphics can impact interpretation. The dangers of inappropriate data visualization are exemplified by the tragic scenario of hospitals ranked by mortality rates. A simple table listing them in order of death rates would lead to a misleading ranking of hospital quality. Similarly, the language used to frame statistical claims can impact emotional reactions and lead to misinterpretation. For example, by framing the statistic to suggest reassuringly that 99% of young Londoners do not commit serious youth violence, or, alternatively, to provoke alarm suggesting that 1% of young Londoners do, the viewer's reaction can be manipulated. Clever framing design can be used by statistics communicators to lead their audience in different directions, either reassuring or shocking. In conclusion, data visualization is a powerful but complex tool that requires careful use to effectively communicate statistical results. Clever design and framing can persuade audiences depending on what reaction the communicator hopes to achieve. It is vital for researchers to preempt confusion or misinterpretation of data by using language and design in a clear and purposeful way. False positives and the bias in scientific literature. The pressure on researchers to publish significant work sometimes leads them to engage in questionable research practices, such as multiple testing. This, in turn, increases the likelihood of obtaining false positives, results that seem to confirm a hypothesis, but that are actually due to chance error. 
The positive bias in scientific literature, where only positive or interesting results tend to get published, impacts how the results are interpreted. Thus, it is vital not to take research findings for granted just because they are published in a scientific journal. Media and Statistical Claims The media distorts statistical claims by exercising creative license, but data journalism is flourishing. Stories require an emotional punch, which science journals rarely provide, leading to sensationalized claims. Exaggerating risk is one common way statistical claims are misrepresented. The media fails to distinguish between relative and absolute risk, causing readers to overestimate the actual risk. The problem with averages. Inappropriately using mean average instead of median or mode can lead to absurd conclusions, resulting in misleading statistical claims. Mean average is only appropriate when data cluster symmetrically around a central value, but in many cases, it can be very misleading. Using the example of the UK National Survey of Sexual Attitudes and Lifestyle, the mean average is often far higher than most people's experience and, therefore, misleading. The median average provides a figure much closer to the typical person's experience, while the mode gives insight into the most common experience. However, the type of average is almost never stated alongside reported conclusions, leading to misleading and irrelevant statistical claims in the media. The fallacy of inferring cause from correlation. The idea that correlation does not imply causation may have become cliché among statisticians. However, the fallacy of inferring cause from correlation is still rampant in the media and public. This misconception leads to amusing headlines such as, Why going to university increases the risk of getting a brain tumor. While the study behind the headline found that a larger proportion of those with brain tumors were from a higher socioeconomic background, it did not mean that there was a causal link between the two. Correlation could be explained in various ways, such as coincidence, reverse causation, or a lurking factor not taken into account in the study. Hence, we should not assume that one data set causes another when they show correlation. Demystifying probability While probability may seem counterintuitive, it is an essential tool for making reliable long-term predictions about unpredictable events. This is exemplified by various fallacies such as the gambler's fallacy, false positives, and even the lack of understanding among 97 members of the UK Parliament. Despite the chaos and unpredictability of individual events, proportions of random events tend to remain uniform in the long run, an idea essential to statistics. In essence, statistics is like social physics, allowing us to make sense of unpredictable events and make reliable predictions. As we wrap up this summary of The Art of Statistics, How to Learn from Data, it becomes clear that statistics is an incredibly insightful and impactful discipline. We've learned how patterns in data can be used to solve real-world problems and that statisticians play a pivotal role in doing so. One of the key takeaways from this book is that data can never be a purely objective representation of reality. Human judgments, biases, and predispositions often affect it. Additionally, statistical claims have the power to either be incredibly enlightening or dangerously misleading, depending on how they are presented and interpreted. So, it's crucial to treat statistics and data with caution and skepticism, corroborating findings with context and other sources before drawing any firm conclusions. Armed with this knowledge, you're now better equipped to navigate the fascinating and complex world of statistics.